everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Miara Jennings and in this DIY video, I'm gonna show you how I turned this into this. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I've been wanting to do a pair of these patched denim shorts for a long time now and I thought they would be perfect for summer. So I'm using this old pair of jeans that I'm not crazy about, so I thought they'd be great for this project. And in addition to the jeans, I am using a pencil, fabric scissors, sewing pins, sewing clips, an animal print satin scarf, and a seam ripper that I forgot to add to this shot. For more information on these items, just scroll down to that description box and let's get started. First, I am using a pencil to mark a spot where I'm going to cut the shorts. Then I use the fabric scissors to cut the shorts at that spot and I either wasn't filming or accidentally deleted the clip, so, so sorry about that, but basically just cut straight across. <laughs> After that, I spent some time trying to decide which satin scarf I wanted to use, which pattern, which print, and I ended up going with this black and white animal print one that I think is super cute. And again, the information for the packs of the satin scarves that I got is down below. Now I'm placing the satin scarf right on top of the shorts and lining up the corner with that left side because that's where I'm going to be adding the material. Then I'm using my pencil to trace out the shape of that left side of the shorts. After that, I'm just using my fabric scissors to cut that piece out. And you definitely don't have to use a satin scarf for this. You can honestly use any scrap fabric you have or any other pieces of material you have laying around with a cute pattern or print. I just really ended up falling in love with the way this animal print looked against the denim. All right, so once that piece is cut out, I'm gonna make sure the edges line up neatly, but first, I'm going to take my seam ripper and remove that belt loop because I want to make sure I sew it on top of the material later on. And to clarify, I am only removing the bottom of that belt loop just to make sure it's out of the way. And once that is ready, it's time to add this material to the denim using my sewing pins. And to do this, I'm just tucking the edges under to make sure it's nice and neat, and then pinning along those seams. Now, as I'm pinning along the bottom, I'm making sure to leave about a half inch of the denim because I want these to have a frayed look. So I wanna make sure I leave room for the fraying to happen. <laughs> now, when you get to the zipper area, it'll be a little bit easier just to use clips if you have them available. The material in that area is a little bit too thick for the sewing pins. All right, and that material is all in place. And now I'm flipping the shorts over and it's time to add the material to this pocket. And again, I'm tucking those edges in, lining it up with that pocket. And I'm going to go ahead and clip the top to the pocket just to keep that in place. Now I'm using my scissors to cut the material slightly larger than the pocket so I still have room to tuck those edges in neatly and then just folding the edges in and pinning them in place. Now to give it a bit more of an edgier look, I guess, I decided to just do this on one of the pockets, but you can absolutely do it on both. I think that would still look really cute. And as a final touch, I am pulling the threads at the bottom to create the frayed effect. Now once you wash and or dry these, this fraying will become even more prominent. So that's why we left that space in the front. And I'm just doing the same thing to the other leg, then flipping the shorts over and doing it to the front. Now this is completely optional. You can actually fold the bottoms up if you want a folded look, or you could even use your scissors and cut small vertical lines to make more of like a fringe type effect. And then that would fray over time. So there are so many different possibilities. All right, and once that is all frayed, it's time to head to the sewing machine and finish these bad boys off. I am starting with the front and I'm just going to sew along those edges, making sure to move that belt loop out of the way. If you run into any difficult areas, I do recommend using the hand wheel to help you get the thread through so you don't end up breaking or bending your needle. 
and now it's time to put that belt loop back in its place so I'm just placing it in its proper position and I'm actually using the hand wheel to help me get the thread through because I don't want to break or bend my needle again I already did so just as a tip if you ever have to sew through any really thick areas the hand wheel will definitely help you and the front is done it's looking good and now let's sew the pocket I probably don't have to tell you guys this but just as a reminder make sure that you're not sewing the top of the pocket to the actual shorts so that the pocket closes you'd be surprised at how many silly mistakes I always make when I'm doing these projects so I just wanted to remind you guys just pull the top of that pocket back to create some space and then sew along that top edge and then sew all the way around the rest and the back is done I absolutely love how these came out. They are so cute and so unique. I cannot wait to wear these out, but you know I gotta go try them on, so let's go. is DIY perfect for summertime. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a comment below to let me know what you think and let me know what you want to see me DIY next. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you're not, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a DIY video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.